Hi guys, I'm back again with one more exciting topic and I'm online with Drona Edu. So this is where you're getting all your lessons from. So if you haven't already subscribed the channel, make sure to subscribe it. So this is me, this is me, same people, not different people, okay? So I am your teacher, Vishal Dravais. Those of you who don't know me, keep my name in your head, Vishal sir. So today we are going to learn an exciting and important chapter because you'll be using this concept in many other concepts in the future. Okay, and that topic is, what is it? It is bod mass. What is this bod mass? You must have heard it in many other different places, right? Now first we'll see what bod mass actually is. So breakdown of the terms, standard breakdown of the terms. How do you break it down? What is bod mass? The full form of bod mass is brackets of division, multiplication, addition and subtraction. But this is not just of, there is an order and order means not the order that they pass in the court or not the order that they give in the parliament. It is exponents and powers. That is whatever the power the number has or the variable has, it depends upon that. So right now we will not go deep into that, we will just keep it as of. So that is bond mass. Brackets of division, multiplication, addition and subtraction. Always keep in mind that this is the order you have to follow while solving the sums. When we solve one or two sums, you will get the hang of it. Now, left to right, what is the meaning of this? We will just keep this bracket off to the side. We will focus on this. Division, multiplication, addition and subtraction. Now, division and multiplication have the same power. Think of them as the king and the minister. right? So, first you have to solve the brackets. Removing the brackets first. Then if you have off, removing the off. Next comes division and multiplication. They are on the same level, right? So whenever you have division and multiplication side by side, then you go left to right. You start from the left side. If division comes first, do division. If multiplication comes first, do multiplication. The same thing goes for addition and subtraction. This is division and multiplication. This is addition and subtraction. So addition and subtraction are also on the same level. So follow the same thing, left to right. Next, what are the, what are brackets? What are brackets? Does any of you know? It's okay, I'll tell you. So brackets means grouping something together. Whenever you group something together, you put them inside the brackets. What are the different kinds of brackets that we know? They are used to make a group. And what are the different kinds of brackets we used to make a group? Okay, first one is the bar bracket. The bar bracket is also called as viniculum. What is it called as? Viniculum. But just remember one name, just bar bracket. Very simple, right? So I'll just uh, do this here. So this is the bar bracket. Just a straight line on top of the numbers. To group them, use the bar bracket. After the bar bracket comes the common bracket or the parenthesis. You call them as common bracket or the parenthesis. Keep that in mind, parenthesis. Next comes the very beautiful bracket. This is called as flower bracket. Why? Because it looks like a flower, right? When you're drawing it, you draw something like this. Okay, it looks somewhat similar to a flower when you look at it from the right side. And they are also called as braces or curly bracket. Why? Because they are all curly, <laughs> curly hairs, curly bracket. Next you have square brackets. You also call them as big bracket. So that is the biggest bracket. And when you are removing brackets also, you do it in the same order. Sir, what is this removing the brackets? They are already there. No? How will you remove it? I will tell you how to do that. Okay, we will take one sum. This is a very small and simple sum. 36 minus 2 into 20 plus 12 divided by 4 into 3 minus 2 into 2 plus 10. What is the first thing that we had in board mass? Brackets. So first you do brackets. What is the brackets? This and this. So what is inside the brackets? So we will solve what is inside the brackets first. So what is inside the brackets? I will just write down the sum here again. 36 minus 2. 2 inside the bracket you had 20 plus 12 divided by 4 into 3 minus 2 into 2 plus 10 such a long sum but the numbers are very small so it is very easy to solve first we'll see what is inside the bracket again don't forget to put this equal to sign okay so we have 36 minus 2 inside the bracket we will start simplifying one by one 
So, what was it? D mass division, multiplication, addition and subtraction. So, we will start from here. So, where is division first? Here. So, do the division first. As I said left to right rule. So, first we have division. So, we will do division first. So, you have 20 plus 12 divided by 4 is how much? 3 right. So, 3 multiplied by what do we have here? 3 minus 2 into 2 plus 10. So, done with one operation. Go for the next one. 36 minus 2 into we have one multiplication here and one multiplication here. So, division is done. Now, multiplication. We will go for all the multiplication. We will do it together. Okay? We have 3 into 3. What is 3 into 3? Simple 9 minus 2 into 2. How much is that? 4 plus 10. So, the sum became even more easier to solve. All the numbers are becoming smaller and smaller and smaller. 36 minus 2 into what is 9 minus 4? 5. 20 plus 5? 25. So, I have 25 here plus 10. Now, if there is a number outside the bracket without any symbol, it means that it is off. So, it means that 2 into 25 is nothing but 2 of 25. Now, off is very simple. What is 5 percent of something? So, you do 5 percent into something, correct. So, the same thing you are doing here. So, it is 2 into 25. What is 2 into 25? Very simple, right? It is 50. So, I will just write it down here. 36 minus 50 plus 10. Now, this whole huge line of numbers became just 3 numbers. Simple to solve now, correct. So, you all know what is integer. So, make use of that. Make use of those rules that you know in integers and solve it. So, what do you have here? We have 36 plus 10. So, you will have minus 50 plus 36 plus 10 is 46. Correct. So, the answer will be 50 plus 46. So, 6, 5 plus 4, 9. So, the answer is 96. No, do not forget that you have a minus sign here. So, use the rules of integers. So, when you have different signs, subtract and put the sign of the bigger number. So, what is 50 minus 46? Am I right? It is 4. Subtract and put the sign of the bigger number. What is the bigger number? 50. So, it is minus 4. So, the answer is so, the answer for this sum is minus 4. Hope you all understood that properly. Okay? So, now we will make use of different brackets and see if we get something different. So, see you see all variety of the brackets here. If you go to the hotel, they will give you a menu, right? All different dishes like that. You have square bracket, curly bracket, common bracket and even the bar bracket. Wow! Now, we will understand the proper use of each of the brackets. Brackets are used for grouping. Correct? The same thing is happening here. So, this is one group. What is the group? The group that is under the bar. So, this is the bar. So, you have a group here, right. I will just write down the sum once more 25 minus 40 divided by open curly brackets 8 6 minus 6 minus 1 close close and remember this point any bracket that you open will have a closing end. Okay? It is like a closed loop and you must be wondering, sir we have all the same number, why are we having so many different kinds of brackets, what is the necessity to have that? We need to make maths beautiful for you, right? So, that is why they invented all these different uh, design design brackets so that you will enjoy doing it. Okay? So, imagine all of them with common bracket only, so boring. So, that is why we made all these different kinds of brackets and also to help you remember them properly. So, now we will do the next step. What is the next step? Write everything as it is without any changes except one change. What is the change? To remove any bracket, you just have to solve what is under it. So, what do we have here? We have 6 minus 6 minus 1. What is 6 minus 1? 5. So, I wrote 5 here and close the bracket, close the curly bracket, close the square bracket. So, what all brackets I opened? I closed everything. Okay. So, now I have 5 here and only what I solved inside this bracket came out as a single number. Whenever inside the bracket you get it as a single number, you can take out the brackets and throw it. End of the work. Brackets work is over, so throw them. So, what do we have here? 25 
minus 40 divided by 8 into again solve what is inside this number what do we have here 6 minus 5 ok 6 minus 5 is 1 it became a single number so you can as well not write not write the bracket so just remove this bracket this and this ok what are we left with 8 into 1 why because there is no sign here if we do not have any sign here then you can write it as into is equal to 25 minus 40 divided by 8 into 1 is 1 so the curly bracket is also gone so after the curly bracket is gone what are we left with 8 and close the square brackets finally all the brackets are gone we are left with only one of them very simple solve it so 25 minus what is 40 divided by 8 5 correct so you have 5 here and what is 25 minus 5 it is 20 so that is the answer all right so what are the things that we need to keep in mind we need to keep in mind the order of the brackets and also after keeping the order of the brackets we need to start solving what is inside the brackets so after the brackets are done what do we have inside we have division multiplication addition and subtraction and why do we have these different kinds of brackets is this is the biggest bracket so this is always used on the outside outermost bracket and then you have flower brackets and inside this flower bracket you have common bracket and inside the common bracket you have the bar bracket so you start by taking out each one of them so whatever is inside the common bar bracket you remove that first after that you remove what is inside the curly common bracket or the parenthesis after that you remove what is inside the curly bracket and finally we take out the square brackets simple right this is the basic concept behind board mass and you will be using this board mass at various different places whenever you need to group any number you use this board mass ok and this is not just the end of it these are just whole numbers what if they give you fractions same thing you need to follow right for example I will just take one sum here and explain say you have 3 by 5 and inside the square bracket you have uh, 1 by 2 minus of curly bracket 2 by 5 plus 1 by 5 close the curly bracket square bracket it's just a simple sum so for fractions what do you do you do all that working in the working column and take LCM and do all the stuff right don't fix in the fractions also so just you, you can do it in your mind itself I will show you how to do that so I have 1 by 2 here since it is quite a small number it is like terms so very simple 2 plus 1 3 I have 3 by 5 close it close the bracket now what did I tell you if it is just a single number then you can remove the brackets correct so I will just do that I will just remove the brackets here after I remove the bracket what am I left with 1 by 2 minus 3 by 5 now instead of taking the LCM you start taking the LCM in your mind what is the LCM of 2 and 5 it is just 2 into 5 so 2 by 2 5s are 10 close the bracket now numerators 5 into 1 is 1 minus 2 into 3 is 6 what do I have left now 3 by 5 multiply by what is 5 minus 6 it is 1 correct 1 by 10 answer is wrong why because it is 5 minus 6 you have to put the sign of the bigger number so you do minus 1 here then you do equal to then you do 3 by 5 and then you do then you do not write the brackets then you do into minus 1 by 10 I will just take this sum and do it over here so what all do we have 3 by 5 into minus 1 by 10 3 by 5 into minus 1 by 10 which will give me the answer of minus 3 by 50 great it's very simple this is a very simple topic board mass but you'll be making use of this board mass everywhere and always keep in mind the integers and the rules of integers for addition and subtraction and how the fractions work the numerator denominator multiplication of fractions 
division of fractions you will be using this in all the places ok. So, board mass is a very simple topic we will end this board mass here and we will see where and all we will use this board mass topic in the upcoming classes. So, if you have not already subscribed and clicked on the bell notification so that you get all the notifications of the upcoming classes do that right now also like this video if you liked it.